This is the 20th anniversary of one of the most emotional and romantic movies people have ever seen, and some fans are still crying about it. On this occasion, Mandy Moore is looking for someone as her replacement. In today's video, we are going to discuss more about this topic. So without any further ado, let's get started. A Walk to Remember is combined typical teen drama, romance, and the additional element of living with a terminal illness. Now Mandy Moore is expecting Olivia Rodrigo to fill her shoes. Mandy Moore and Shane West play Jamie Sullivan and Landon Carter, two teenagers from very unique backgrounds who are forced together. The movie has stayed famous with fans since its release. Moore and West recently spoke about the film, and Moore believes that it's time for a remake of this special movie. Moore has named someone in particular to take her place in the movie. She said, I don't know, Olivia Rodrigo or something like that. Someone could redo this film. She even went on to say that she would love to see a reboot of the film. Moore explained that it's been long enough that she feels like they have earned their place in cinematic history for a reboot at this point. The remarkable story of A Walk to Remember is responsible for the movie's long-term impact. Jamie and Landon, the movie's main characters, don't have much in common, but as their lives intertwine and they move to learn from one another, they reluctantly start to change. Tolerance evolves into a friendship and then a relationship, but there's always a limitation in place. Landon can't fall in love with Jamie. He found out why she made such a different request of him after he broke the rule. Jamie was battling cancer and the treatment wasn't working. As they ran against the clock, they found out that running from love was robbing them both of something so precious and rare, and they didn't want to live another day without it. This story still strikes a chord with audiences today, and we have to admit that fans would love a reboot as well. Nothing will replace a walk to remember in our memories. However, fans would love to see the journey to go ahead. If you are liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now let's continue. After the success Olivia Rodrigo has earned as a solo artist in the past year, it's hard to believe that we got acquainted with her on the Disney series. The High School Musical-inspired series helped in starting Rodrigo's music career, which ended in the success of her debut album Sour. That success involved triple platinum status and a Grammy win for Best Pop Vocal Album. After two seasons as Minnie, it was confirmed that Rodrigo would return only as a recurring guest. Series creator and showrunner Tim Federley has also talked about Rodrigo's role in the upcoming third season. He teased that Nini might have a similar trajectory to Rodrigo herself as the character earned an offer to go to Los Angeles to follow her songwriting dreams. Federley said, I think she's ready to explore the world outside the halls of East High, and Olivia herself was having such a monumental explosion in the music industry that it felt like the right thing to, frankly, work with Olivia to say, how do we get you out there into the world with us, taking a little bit more of a backseat, which we were all proud to do to support her, and so this season it's about trying to give her character a proper send-off while also leaving room for other characters to freely step into the fray and step into the limelight, and personally, it's a joy to see Olivia's music explode in such a big way. It was so fun to have her back and reminisce on the start. Rodrigo's success in music is an apparent reason her time on High School Musical is coming to an end. However, another reason the driver's license singer's time on the show has gone bitter is her relationship and breakup with Joshua Bassett. The couple sparked dating rumors when the series first premiered in 2019. They even wrote a song together for the series that was inspired by their character's love story. However, in 2020, Bassett was potted out with Sabrina Carpenter. Rodrigo released her single Driver's License in 2021, which was rumored to be about her apparent breakup from Bassett. Bassett himself showed support for the song by calling it a great song. Rodrigo commented on the rumors in an interview with Bill 
Billboard, she said that she understands people's curiosity with the specifics of who the song's about and what's it about, but to her, that's really the least important part of the song. It resonates with people because of how emotional it is, and she thinks everyone else is not valuable. Bassett then released the song Lie Lie Lie, which many people believed was a response to Rodrigo's song. However, he had been teasing the single on his Instagram since 2019. He has shown some support for Carpenter's song Skin, which appeared to address the drama. Rodrigo later said that she only met Carpenter once or twice in passing, but they never had a chat. When asked if she would write a comeback track to Skin, Rodrigo said that she couldn't write a song that was meaningful or emotional about somebody that she doesn't know. Well, it's clear that Olivia Rodrigo will go on to have a great amount of success in her future. With that being said, it's time to end our today's video. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace out!